Hello, everybody, and welcome to the OpenShift Commons gathering here today um, virtually in Japan. Um, and I'm going to talk today a little bit about how to make the most of today's event and afterwards about continuing to make connections across the OpenShift ecosystem, because that's really what the OpenShift Commons is all about. My name is Diane Mueller. I'm the Director of Community Development for the Red Hat Cloud Platform Group. Um, you can find me uh, online at OpenShift Common or at Python DJ. Uh, and today really is all about creating connections. Um, for me, connections are the lifeblood of open source um, collaboration and innovation and about making sure that you all are successful in all of your endeavors, whether you're partners, end users, upstream project leads, red hatters, external folks working with us. It's all about figuring out ways to be stay in connection. And if you think about it, um, a lot of what we do is in the upstream, is in the CNCF and in Kubernetes these days. I love this diagram with all the little pink dots over here. Each pink dot represents a developer working on one of these projects. And the line between these projects is that developer working on another project. And so for me, even at the open source coding level, it's really about how all of these projects that make up the OpenShift ecosystem, whether it's the underlying Linux kernel or the over uh, top uh, workloads that we're sharing and we're using and leveraging open source technologies in, how all of us are really connected and how to make the most of those connections is what today is all about. So if you think about um, the Cloud Native Computing Foundation, there's tons of projects that they're um, incubating and nurturing through the incubation project, that have, some that have graduated, some that are still in the sandbox. I think yesterday I counted there were 42 sandbox new projects in the CNCF. So from an open source perspective on the OpenShift side, we have the project that is OKD, the open source sibling of OpenShift. We have OpenShift. OpenShift folks who are working on OKD and OpenShift are also working on Kubernetes. They're also working on Jaeger and Open Tracing, for example, or in Prometheus or upstream in etcd, as well as a ton of other things. So by remaining connected to this network of people um, and making connections today, you benefit from our experience and our ability to help you navigate through this wonderfully crazy landscape. As well, we have a huge partner ecosystem, and many of them are here today, and lots of them um, are already and are part of uh, the OpenShift Commons, and you know they come from all different aspects of the uh, ecosystem, whether it's AI and ML or financial services, or if they're DevOps tools and database or storage partners. There's a ton of people to, m to figure out how we're all connected together. And that's really what we try and do here at Commons, is create the spaces for end users, partners, product managers, engineers at Red Hat, upstream project leads from every company that's participating in the open source world that is CNCF, that is the Linux community, that is uh, Apache and Eclipse and Open Daylight, all of those foundations um, we're all connected together. And so the thing that I like to think about Commons as is the pe place where we can do that peer-to-peer -peer networking. And there are, today there are over 600 organizations that are participants in the OpenShift Commons. Uh, GitHub just joined the other day. We're really pleased to have them, as well as a ton of end user organizations. So this is really the place for you to engage with, connect with, and helpful, hopefully make the connections that will help you make your decisions um, and share your, your own best practices and lessons learned with each other. Because that's really the OpenShift Commons community model. It's always ecosystem based. So we really like to think of ourselves not as trying to get you to contribute to OKD or OpenShift or even just Kubernetes, but to all of the projects to get you not just to contribute, but to use and to give feedback um, to these projects. Um, and we do that by um, promoting that, promoting different um, open source projects 
different product offerings, new initiatives, new releases in OpenShift Commons briefings and at gatherings like this virtually or in person. Hopefully soon we can all meet together. Um, all of the content we do, we put on YouTube and it's all up there. So we try and be really, really open about and make this stuff accessible. So if there's a topic that you haven't heard about that you need to hear something about, there's probably someone else. So let me know and I'll try and get that uh, a briefing on that for you. There are also special interest groups by market sector, by technology, by role that are also on the Commons website that you can join. We have a very active Slack channel. Um, there's a mailing list for announcements and releases for upcoming events. And, you know, we will take your code contributions and your pull requests and your issues. Please keep sending them along too. But really, this is about creating connections and fostering engaged conversations. So, because what we're really seeing here, and I'm so pleased that um, we have today with us Mitsubishi and NTT sharing their journeys and their workloads and their case studies um, as, as end users today um, on the podium. Um, what, but what we've been really seeing is this amazing emergence and involve, uh, evolution of the level of engagement with end users in the upstream. So in the past, we might have just gotten given, you might have just given feedback, told us about use cases, logged an issue or a bug or requested a new feature. Um, and then slowly we've been growing this so that more and more companies are making actual code contributions directly into Kubernetes or Prometheus. You, you can look on dev stats or wherever um, you want for your statistics on who's participating where. There's a lot, a lot of our over 2,000 um, open so open shift customers and end users with deployments who are also contributing in the same working groups in Kubernetes and the CNCF and to OpenShift and OKD. But we're also seeing this really exciting new, new development happening where companies are lifting and pushing out into foundations like the CNCF whole projects um, uh, and, and open sourcing them. So this is like a really amazing evolution in the way that end users, upstream project leads, product developers, product managers, partners all work together. We're really seeing this new enlivening of the innovation pipeline um, through end user participation. And it is one of the most exciting um, and amazing things that is happening today. So I'm, I really look forward to seeing you all actively participating in this, um, this new uh, evolution of end user participation. Um, so please reach out if you need help, um, asking your management to allow you to participate. Let me know, we'll make sure we can hook you up and, and give you some advice on how to make that happen. Because really, the, what I like to say is the health of an open source community is most accurately measured by the connections with members of other upstream and downstream project communities within its ecosystem. The healthiest ecosystems and the ones that will are the most stable and mature are the ones where the connectivity and the communication between end users, upstream projects, product developers, product managers, all have good lines of communication and clear communication paths. So please, I definitely want to encourage you to get involved because really at its heart, Red Hat's DNA is all about open source. And we truly believe that open source is the source of all technology innovation, whether it comes from end users, from our partners, from internal to Red Hat to collaborations with cloud hosting providers, people who you might have thought were competitors, you're going to see all of them here today um, talking to you. And it is a fire hose of information. If you look at GitHub today, I'm sure there's more than 96 million repos. There's a ton of technology out there that's coming at you. So use today to hear the best practices, the lessons learned from end users, from people on the, on the ground floor of doing um, OpenShift deployments and deploying their workloads on OpenShift, on Kubernetes, on multiple clouds, and take that, distill it, use it yourselves, and then move the conversation forward. Come back, we'll share the podium with you. We would love to hear your stories as well. Fun fact about I am a fan of jellyfish, 
Um, and if you think about it, there are a species list of 2,000 jellyfish out there. And what uh, it's been speculated that there are as many as 300,000 species that have yet been seen by the human eye. So think of those 300 species as those bazillion GitHub repos that have yet to be seen by folks um, that are all out there having some cool innovation, some new aspect. So somewhere there is someone connected to each of those. And today we're going to hear about some of those because really it's all about open source. Open communities like this one, open collaboration with lots of other open source communities and ecosystems. And it's really today and days like today in virtual events and face-to-face -face events that will eventually happen again. We're making those connections and those are the connections that are gonna drive continuous innovation into your infrastructure, your organizations, the technology, and just make cloud computing that much better. So really, thank you for your time today. Uh, I'm going to hope today you get some virtual facial recognition. You can meet some of the over 600 organizations that are part of OpenShift Commons, or maybe meet some one of one or more of the 3,000 individuals who are part of the OpenShift Commons. Um, and if you don't meet them today, we highly encourage you to join OpenShift Commons and get connected. We can add you into our Slack channel, put you on our mailing lists, and someday put you on the podium too. So thanks again for listening. Please do join, enjoy the day, make sure you take advantage of the chat the, and the other opportunities you have in the Q&A to ask questions and engage with each other. This is your day. Take advantage of it. Stay safe, be well, and thank you for joining us.